but, you. You know, you said April 30th. It feels. Oh yeah, like feels today. Like April 30th. 30th. Let's yeah. Hope the weather is as nice today, or as nice on April 30th as it is today, because that would be great for the runners. Mm -hmm. Which may or may not include me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see. We shall see. Run, Kate, let's, run. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's talk about what's happening outside today. It is beautiful out there, just about everywhere. Look at Bethlehem, nothing but blue sky and sunshine right now. Temperatures well above the average and feeling fantastic. We are talking 50s and low 60s already across the entire region. The only place we're still seeing some clouds hanging on is at the shore and throughout the Delaware beaches. We had some clouds, maybe even a couple of sprinkles in a few spots this morning, mainly off to the south. You can see the clouds are still hanging on at the shore, still looking a little gray. That will eventually clear out and more sunshine expected through the afternoon. Here's a look at temps and conditions right now. You can see the clouds still hanging on down the shore. It's still 59 degrees in Atlantic City, 58 in Wildwood. Once those clouds break, temps are going to shoot up quickly. In the areas that are seeing a little bit more sun already, like Lancaster, Reading, Philadelphia, Wilmington, temperatures have already hit the 60 mark and continue to go up. Now, this isn't going to be a record breaker. Our records are in the low 70s today. But look at this stretch of above average weather we've put together yet again. It's been above average since February 5th. We had that little stretch of chilly weather to start the month, but now we have been in the red for over a week and a half and not a ton of rain here. We had some rain, of course, Sunday. Our next chance comes tomorrow. So for right now, a look at our next weather radar. You can see the clouds just starting to clear out. More sunshine through the afternoon. It is dry through today now that the showers have moved away. These sprinkles that were impacting the Delaware beaches have pretty much died off. Our next system, though, is kind of following the coattails of the first one. It's going to gain a little bit of extra moisture here from the Gulf of Mexico as it moves east. A warm front with this will come through tomorrow afternoon, and then the cold front comes through on Friday morning. So today looks good. Any place still seeing clouds, we'll see more sun through the day. So turning sunny from west to east, 63 degrees the daytime high. Some spots may get even a little higher than that with more sun. 47 tonight, clear early, then increasing clouds, a very mild night for February. Some spots may not even see temps drop below 50 overnight tonight, which is pretty insane for the month of February. Tomorrow morning, this is 5.30 a.m. If you're up around sunrise, let's say, but before about 7 a.m., you may see a little bit of sun. Morning commute, it's just cloudy and it's very warm. Temps are in the 60s, but make sure you grab the umbrella or the rain jacket because here we go, 2.30. Kids heading home from school on the school buses. Kids walking home from school will need the umbrellas. We've got this first band of rain along our warm front coming through between about 2 and 5 p.m. By Thursday night, we're in the warm sector. So the warm front lifts north. The cold front's still back to the west. We're dry until about mid morning on Friday. That's when this line of showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder comes through along the cold front. That will clear out by midday Friday, and then it's just a sharp temperature drop in the wake of this. So again, showers late Thursday. A bit more scattered or a break Thursday night, downpours Friday morning, then windy and much colder. In fact, we start Friday around 60 degrees, well above average. By Friday night, we're down to 25, and it will feel like 15. A brief shock to the system, but it's brief because even though Saturday is back to normal or a little bit below, we're right back to the 50s Sunday, and we may make a run for 60 on President's Day Monday yet again. Jim and Janelle, back to you.